G'day and welcome to Down The Line. Today we're going to check out the Thomas Specials once again. As you just saw, they are completely different. We've got 12A on the front and we've got NGG 16 129 at the rear with a long 13 car train. Let's go see some more of this action. Hope you enjoy. So with a few minutes to spare, we got our first shot at Wright Station and now we're heading back up Wright Road, which is probably the worst condition road on the railway. <laughs> Try and get a shot at this trip again when we get to um, Cockatoo. Today I'm also testing out my brand new camera, which is a uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I've always wanted one of these cameras for a little while and um, yeah, I've given it a test and perfect opportunity to, well perfect excuse I should say, to go see uh, Puffy Billy, so yeah. Go extreme, no boundaries, push the limits, to the end, raise his edge, go and get it, trailblazing to the unknown, sweat tripping on me. They're obviously working pretty hard because uh, we only just made it here. <laughs> um, I reckon what we should do, so we get a good shot for the up trip, we could go find a different spot, like probably down at Cockatoo Creek to get the um, NGG working the tart out up the hill. So I think we might go do that. Back some more, adrenaline, dynamo, oh, it's in my blood, pump it up, watch me go. The passion rise out of the rubble. I'm the king of the jungle. So, you've probably seen this shot before. It's uh, the Cockatoo Creek Bridge, which is the lowest point on the entire railway. Compare that to Orchard Road, which is 1,057 feet above sea level. Yeah, quite a difference. And it's all uphill to there. I got the passion. Going fast, hyper speed, full throttle. Go beyond till it breaks, lightning in the bottle. Alright, so we found a pretty good shot of the Cockatoo Creek Bridge. If I remember right, they depart at 10 o'clock, so we should see them in a couple of minutes. And we've got the NGG leading, and it's the start of the 1 in 40 grade, which actually goes all the way to Emerald, which is the second highest location on the railway. I can't remember the the elevation will be here. Um, when they cross this bridge, the driver usually starts to open up and before it, you should have a starting fire on. So you should have enough steam, steam and water to get up the hill. Of course you need to feed it along the way, but you should still have enough to get all the way up the hill or at least start it. But yeah, trains. I'm the king of the jungle.
cool, let's go get another shot of it. Alright, so we're gonna try and get to Wright Road. If you know Belgrave Denver Road, you can see the railway line in a certain spot going up the hill from Cockatoo. We saw we saw the back of the train, so 12A on that bit. We're currently going down Wright Road, as you can probably hear. We're gonna see if we can see it there. If it's like in the distance, we'll go across the road and we'll go to a spot called Bellbird Crescent, which we've been to before, and I know we can make it if the train is only just approaching Road Station. It takes a bit of running, but it's still doable. You gotta also bear in mind that it's an NGG with 13 cars and an NA pushing. So it's not gonna be an easy one to catch. I'm not convinced we'll get it, but we're still going to give it a try. I can hear it. It's, it's down in the forest somewhere, we can't see it yet. It's here. Let's give it a try. I can hear him! Can I make it? I've done it before, can I do it again? The answer is a yes! I don't know how I made that, but I did. Probably doing about 15 k's an hour to get down here, but... <laughs> the train was just coming around the curve when I got here. Cue the shot. Yeah, here you go. Okay, I really like this camera. That is awesome. <laughs> the Osmo came in handy that time because I'm pretty certain that shot was stable. I've done it before, can I do it again? If it was my Panasonic HV6 one, and I tried doing that, no chance of having a stable shot. Yeah, I already had it on, I already had it recording. There's no worries. So, they're coming back into Lakeside now, and the passengers will detrain and the new passengers will get on, and the train leaves just after, I think it's just before 11 o'clock or something. So while that's happening, we're gonna go for a bit of a detour up to Emerald Bank to see the regular service train hauled by 8A climbing Emerald Bank. So we'll go see that. So we're just heading to Menzies Creek now. We're gonna get it at School Road on the east side, which is the sketchy side. The west side of School Road, I meant. So we'll get it going up the up the grade there. Then we'll probably get it departing Menzies Creek as well because they'll have they have to take time to wait for the fire patrol and then the authority and then continue on to Lakeside. From Menzies Creek we'll go to somewhere along Emerald Bank, which we're just going down now on the road. We'll probably get it at Pinnix cutting. Pinnix Mitch. Yeah, we have no idea what this day is turning into. It's just all a bunch of mismatch, but we're getting trains, we're testing out my new camera. I'm happy. All right, so we're at School Road and we've run into a bit of a problem. Um, yeah. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back again? <laughs> Unbeknown to us, we, we didn't know that he was actually chasing today. He's literally calling you saying, hey, gorgeous. Kimmy, you you're not supposed to tell them that. Do you know, do you know that I got a camera strap the other day? It was pretty good. And there's a car. Broom, broom. Hi, mate! 
so we are uh, waiting for 8A to come up the hill. It left at 10.30. No, so I thought it was 6A. It is not 6A. I know what it's like at the moment. It is not running. Yet. Same. We've got about nine minutes until the train's supposed to be here. But considering it is Puffing Billy, we'll see if it's about six minutes later or so. Or in Puffing Billy terms, that's on time. So, yes. That's V-Line for you. This is Puffing Billy though. Nah, V-Line. There's an N class coming. Wonderful shot. Absolutely eccentric. We're at the down end of Menzies Creek now and we're just going to get the signature departing Menzies Creek shot and they're just about to do it now. Peter Stoll, the station master, is just ringing the bell so they should be out of here in a second. a good shot let's go get another one Right, so they were doing a quite a slow run down the hill, so we just got it at the main road, Clematis, which is something that you don't normally get, but I think from memory there's a trainee driver on this one, so yeah, so now we're going to try and get it at Penix Road, and we've just got an extra shot for us, so you beauty! Okay, it's going down, the train's just there, but we're going to keep going.
are getting really close shot stage, ridiculous. The reason why I walked all the way down is because of how good the sun angle is there. Like, sure, it's not 100%, but it's better than nothing. And considering the time of day that this train runs at, it's probably one of the one of the nicest shots you can get. So now they're coming into Emerald, and depending on if they get permission to depart by the fire patrol or not, they may have to stop at Emerald. But if not, let's get going so we can get to Nobilia's siding. So we're just going through Emerald. It looks like the train has departed, so I don't know if we'll make it to the packing shed. Yeah, this traffic is pretty heavy, so I'm not sure. But as you know from previous videos of Down the Line, we have done it before, so it is possible. <laughs> I was only just leaving Emerald when we got there. If we see it go past Beaconsfield Road, or we know that we've missed it, we'll go straight down to Brighton and get another shot of the Thomas Specials, because we have gotten an extra shot now. Well, we've got enough shots of the, of the pass, but if we get one more, that'd be pretty good. So, we'll see. Yep, we stuffed that one. <laughs> Just going over the crossing now. Duh! Well, we've lost our streak of get getting trains at Nobilia siding. That's all right, the traffic was pretty heavy. We'll go straight to right then, because we can't really get any more shots of that now. So it must be really rusty if I just pulled something up. We missed the turn, so we're a current couple of minutes late. It's now 11.30, the train departs at 11.30. Depending if they're on time or not, which I'm not convinced, but we'll give it a go. Two minute update. We just passed Melbourne Crescent. It wasn't there, so it's either gone through, which I doubt it, or it's not there yet. I have a better feeling about that, so. We are in for a chance of still getting it at right road to pop despite my colossal stuff. station we can just see it at the opening between right bridge and cockatoo creek so we are going to head down the hill to home signal at cockatoo where the train does the only work of it on the on the down run going up the hill into cockatoo station uh, it was a shot we were trying to get to on the first shuttle but we kind of stuffed it so <laughs> we got it arriving into the station instead so we're going to give that a go now So we made it with miles to spare um, to Cockatoo uh, Home Signal, which is this signal here. We got out of right uh, a lot quicker than we did on the first run, so we, we have much more of a chance to get the shot this time. I can hear him now, so so he'll be coming up the, up the hill in a second.
as expected, a magnificent run up the hill to, to Cockatoo. Not Clematis. So now that they're in Cockatoo Station, they're going to wait for the fire patrol to arrive and get out of their way so they can head back to Lakeside. So we're going to go find another shot for the run back. So we're at the uh, bridge number seven, which is on the downside of right. It's probably about 100 metres from the station. Uh, it's only got three spans on it compared to bridge eight, which is further down, and we've been to it before. That's got a crap load more um, spans than that, and it's taller. This is also the only one of two bridges on the railway that's... Um, dead straight, the other one being Cockatoo Creek of course. Probably about a month ago we had a massive storm that went through the Dandenongs and basically the entirety of the east of Melbourne. A lot of the Dandenongs was actually out of power for over two weeks and the right forest was no exception and because of that storm and the amount of trees that fell down it's cleared the shot up a lot as you can see with this tree down here which used to block the shot about there. Uh, it, made it almost impossible to get a good shot here but now we've got a clear shot of the whole bridge so there's a silver lining to a big storm. <laughs> That was a pretty good shot. The NGG was obviously doing all of the work there, and six was uh, six, twelve was doing nothing. Great shot and a great way to end our uh, chase for today. So yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this special episode of Down the Line. It was a very good chase. We got plenty of interesting shots and captured majority of the interesting movements that were happening today and uh, it was a good opportunity to test out my new camera so like comment subscribe and favorite our videos and we'll see you next time down the line